That came out so wrong. What the f- Welcome back to another video. I hope that you guys are doing amazing. Today I have a really cool holiday makeup look for you. This is it. I don't want to waste your time with a bunch of talk, so let's just jump right into it. So I've got my hair up, clean skin, ready to rock. But first I want to share with you guys today's video sponsor, which is Curology. I'm sure you've seen it all over the internet. I know I did. And I'm super excited because their skin system that is specifically formulated for your skin type will change your life. I've been using it for about three weeks now and it's really evened out my skin tone and given me, I don't know if you can see it, but an amazing glow. You go on their website and you fill out a questionnaire and you choose your skin goals and things that you would want for your specific skin type. So I think I chose acne, clogged pores, and aging because it actually does all those. And my provider got back to me almost immediately with the three ingredients that she felt would be best for my skin. So it comes with three bottles. You get a cleanser, which you use morning and night, a moisturizer, which is awesome. I actually put this on before I do my makeup because it's very rich. And then this is the actual formulated cream. It'll have your name and then the three ingredients that your provider has chosen for you. And basically use this nightly. And because Curology is so awesome, they're gonna give you the entire system for free for one month if you use my link in the description box for $4.95 shipping and handling. That's it. You have nothing to lose, so go out and get it so you can have this wonderful glowing skin. So today I went and got my eyebrows started. I hate them. I went to someone that I normally never go to and although they look full, they're actually really thin for me. I have a lot of hair, but I actually like them bushier than this. And she trimmed and trimmed and I should have said something, but she was already done with one side and I needed the other side to somewhat match. So we're gonna go ahead and fill those in first because if not, I'm gonna lose my mind. That looks more like me. Basically, I just really like these hairs to be really bushy and she completely alleviated them from this side. So that's not happening, but thankfully I have really fast growing eyebrows and they'll be back in two weeks tops. This is the Golden Goddess palette from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm obsessed with her products. I, You'll see that most of the products in here are actually hers. So we're just gonna use literally this and go from there. I like to do my eye makeup first. I know you're supposed to do foundation first, but in case I get it everywhere, I don't have to take off my foundation and the powder and contour and everything I already did in order to remove it. Got a little fluffy brush. We'll just be brave and go right in with this one. Then I'm just gonna blend the lines out a little bit with this pale one on top. It's always so crazy doing my eye makeup with all these lights because it looks like I have no eye makeup on here. But I know once I turn off all these lights, it's gonna be like Whoa. Next, we're gonna take our trusty tape. This is my new way of doing eyeliner. Sorry for those that don't like it, but I'm lazy. Basically just put it along the bottom of your lash line. Try to make sure they're even. The thing with these is you're gonna get a perfect cut, but if they're not even, it's really hard to fix and you'll have to redo everything. Trusty dusty water, not really dusty. And black eyeshadow because you know, I don't like to use real liner unless I have lashes on and I rarely ever wear fake lashes. Start from like maybe a centimeter back. make a line. Oh, that looks so crazy. I do the same thing with the other side. This is also a lot thicker than I normally do my actual makeup 
and then take it off gently because it's gonna pull your skin. Look at that. It's not perfect, but we're gonna fix it. Fill in the little gap here. Connect these in here. Normally I don't do my liner this big. Normally it's very natural, but when I wear my hair back, I like to have some sort of focal point on my face, so we're doing thick liner today. We're gonna go back with the palette now that the liner's done, and I'm gonna slightly blot this on the corner of my eye. Should look ugly like this, and then we're just gonna blend it all together. I like doing it this way because it low-key takes a little bit of the liner plus a little bit of the darker color and puts it in your crease. We're going to stop there for now with the eyes and then we're going to start our face, which needs a lot of work because I got redness around my eyebrows from the threading earlier and my natural redness in my face, which is just always there. I use this for any sort of breakouts I have and redness too because I feel like when my skin gets red it breaks out in that area. But it's by IT Cosmetics and it's called Bye Bye Breakout. And it comes in a little tube like such. Then I'm just gonna wisp all that in. Then we're gonna be using another product by IT Cosmetics. It's the CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream and Anti-Aging Hydrating Serum. And it has SPF. Really good for the daylight, but I find that it doesn't break my skin out at night when I have makeup on for a long time. And this is the light color. I use like a really small amount, like that. Now that that's good, we're gonna go in with the Dior Forever Skin Correct. And that's gonna be our concealer for under the eyes and our basic highlights. This is how I apply my concealer. You can do it any way you want. And before I would use this brush, now I use this brush. It's also IT Cosmetics. It must go with the foundation. Yeah, I just like it because it's fluffier and nice on my skin. Now that that's blended in nicely, we're gonna go ahead and use our Givenchy powder. This is actually pretty old. It's the Prism Libre, and I know that it was a special edition. It had blue in it, which I wanted because my skin tends to be very warm toned. So I wanted the blue to cool it down, and I'm not even sure they make this anymore. It's in Mousseline Pastel. But it looks like this. Blue! Next, we're gonna use our Kat Von D Shade and Light Contour Palette. So I used to do my contour directly on my cheekbone, which you could tell is there. I have pretty prominent cheekbones. But I've recently started actually putting it higher because it makes a huge difference. So I'm gonna use these two. Mix, everyone knows I blot on my mirror. It's probably gross to you, but I like it. And then I'm gonna lay it higher. And then you know we gotta fix this pretend double chin down here. Then I'm gonna go in with the Sonia Kashuk number 116. Probably said that wrong, got this at Target years ago. And I'm gonna take the same colors and contour my nose. Then baking is still a thing for me. Probably not for most people, but I like it. So I'm gonna take the color in the middle and just put it down here, here, and on my nose. This is also a lot darker than I would normally do for camera purposes, because I notice that when I do my makeup on camera, it does not show up because I do very light makeup. Now we're going in with our Becca blush. I use this bad boy from Benefit, and I like to just add all of them. So just a little bit of everything. And then same thing, I actually put it directly over the contour. I feel like it just lifts everything rather than weighing it down if you like put it here. 
I used to do that, but not no more. And then a little forehead. Now I'm going to take what's left on here and run it under my eyes and then get a little bit of product and go over it. I don't want this to be too dark because I actually never really put eyeshadow under my eyes, but I'm going to today since we're just going for this all out look. I'm going to take this bad boy from Sephora, which is actually a smudge brush. It's number 11. And I'm going to take that same color and just lightly go under my eyes. Brows, mascara, and lipstick. And we are done. So let's bang out the highlighter. I use Becca Opal. Just dab a little bit on the brush like this. And it goes in the corners. And then I like to blend it in. Makes such a difference. And then I put a teeny bit on the center of my nose and along the line. Then we'll get a fluffy brush and do the sides. Right on the top of the bone, the highest point. So we know I don't wear fake lashes, so I use Latisse and I've talked about it in other videos and it makes your lashes really long. I haven't been using it properly. I promise to be better at that, but regardless, I still don't feel like doing lashes. So we're gonna use our trusty little curlers and mascara from Marc Jacobs. Mascara makes such a difference. Gonna go in with a little bit of white eyeliner. This is from Sephora. It's in pure white. And I'm just gonna put it on the bottom. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the mascara, wipe some off, and then I'm gonna just use my finger to rub it around. Eyebrow gel for these bad boys that I can't wait till they grow out. And then lipstick, I will be using Charlotte Tilbury. Lip Cheat Pencil in Pillow Talk, and then her lipstick also in Pillow Talk. I actually had a little bit of lip gloss sheen on prior to this just to make my lips moist because they're so dry because it's winter here in Florida. So I'm interested to see how this turns out. Gonna take a little bit of Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. I saw someone else talk about this in a video once. I think it was Jeffree Star. I don't want to say it was Jeffree Star because I don't know if it was Jeffree Star, but someone was saying they don't actually think this does anything. It just feels right. And I agree. I just feel like I can't finish until I have this on. And that's it. This should be your look. No, I'm not wearing my hair like this. This was just to throw it up, but probably going to do half up, half down for the night. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. Um, if you have any questions about the products, go ahead and ask, and I will answer those questions for you. Now that I have a little bit more free time at home, I'm going to be doing videos more often, so stick around and wait for the next one. Again, any questions, feel free to ask. I hope you guys have a really nice holiday, and a happy new year. Bye, guys.